Hey there guys, what's up again? Here we have another Converge in the EX line unboxing. Uh, as you can see, it's from, uh, well, Bandai Fusion Works. Uh, it's slightly bigger from my first unboxing, the box, uh, the Devil Gundam. This, we are going to look at the EX12 New Zeal. Uh, I hope I pronounce it right. It's from uh, Axis Delta Fleet Prototype Mobile Armor. Uh, it's the antagonist for the Dendrobium. And I forgot to bought the Dendrobium actually. And also it comes with a P Bandai set. Uh, extension arms. Uh, it's like uh, to recreate the final battle scene between these two. As you can see it's from... Uh, if, if my light could fucking work uh, It's from this Gundam uh, What is it? Uh, Stardust Memory, I think uh, Yeah, as you can see, here's the side of the box uh, Here's the box behind it uh, It comes with the base, which is cool because Well, it can't stand, as you can see the design Even in the picture, it has its grappling hook onto the base mm, that's nice and here a shot of the back side of its arts uh, here what is made of PVC ABS M ABS whatever uh, I think that's all uh, okay let's uh, get it to open give you guys some nice ASMR alright here uh, the parts, it's quite quite a lot of parts here. So you can see with the first box and the first plastic bag, my bad. Uh, here, uh, nice. We have some few parts. It's actually big. The the converge is quite big compared to other converges. They are not to scale these converge lines, even the normal ones. Uh, uh, including the EX line, they are not up to scale with the HG, HGs, uh, MGs, PGs, brethren, uh, model kit parts, uh, second bag. Uh, our third bag, uh, the base, and here the uh, arms. It comes with a plastic cardboard so it won't damage it, especially with these uh, V fins. Fins, horns, it's quite nice. And here's the fourth bag. This is the tail part, backside part. Yeah, it's nice. As you can see, it's protecting its freaking head. And here it is the most infamous candy of all Bandai fucking gum. Wait, I forgot the instructions. Oh, yeah, the instructions. Uh, Bitch. Here. All right. Oh, as you can see, it's quite simple. It's not complicated as the uh, Devil Gundam. Well, actually, the Devil Gundam to start off is not complicated at all. But it doesn't transform into other forms. It has only one form, which is this badass form. Uh, the New Zeal uh, has a model kit part but it's like in 1 400 scale if i'm not mistaken it's quite big it's as big as the uh, i want to say in the middle part of mg scale to a pg scale uh, well, it's quite nice and of course they can't make it into a 1 100 scale or even a 160 scale it'll be like as big as the new zeon the 144 scale new zeon so all we can do is either get the one for 100 skill or this bloody EX12. So uh, I'm gonna go assemble it. Uh, see you again later. And here we are back after assembling the new Zeal uh, EX12. It is not very complicated at all. It's so simple. So simple. It's like even a five-year-old could assemble it. It has like even the indentations of a few parts which are specially molded 
uh, between right and left and then the shoulder parts are different they have like uh, embedded there uh, etching of uh, R and L for left and right uh, it's quite simple and here it is as you can see beautiful as always these converged figures especially the EX lines mm, nicely pre-painted parts uh, a few of the places as uh, in these wing binders uh, they are like uh, not soft plastic but it's a bit of hard plastic as uh, the same as the new Xiong but most of it is soft plastic as you can see uh, the figure it does need a stand it really does because it's holding it uh, quite uh, it's holding it just nice mm, you can see it's secondary arms it's arms main arms uh, flaps here uh, here on the right side uh, nicely pre-painted vents vernier vents red parts uh, and in here the vfin we attached it uh, move it slightly uh, back side Here the bottom part of its R's. Alright. Uh, I quite like it. It's nicely detailed, nicely done, nicely built. Even the hard plastic is quite nice. As you can see the eye, the mono eye. Uh, articulation, well, it doesn't have any articulation actually. Even the arms won't move. The only articulation you could get is between the arms which can rotate around slightly. Well, you don't need to rotate it because it's a claw, three finger claw. Either you rotate it to the sideways. Yeah. And the head doesn't move at all. It won't budge. It's just dangling there. Alright, not much to say. As you can see, you can put in a bit of uh, panel line washing, panel line details, a bit of uh, water decals. It's quite nice. So you need to uh, top coat it beforehand and you do the panel line because uh, sometimes people say just the panel line, the animal panel line will eat the plastic away. So uh, just be careful top coat it, uh, preferably, uh, preferably uh, gloss coat to make it smooth, the panel line to run through these uh, nicely detailed parts as you can see and a bit of uh, detail painting you can see you can match the colors but this as you can see it's like uh, a bit of uh, gun metal eh? and the red vernier Well, that's about it. Uh, I hope you like my unboxing and review of this uh, EX12 New Zeal. And here it is compared to the Devil Gundam. Uh, it's not up to scale. Uh, in matter of fact, most of these converges are really not up to scale at all. As you can see, it's quite nice compared to the... Uh, it's quite huge. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!